Susan, coming back to you again for a second, talk institutions, talk institutional structures. Um, is it just accident that the women that you see every day end up, like as you did, rotating in and out of recidivism? What are the policies, and the, maybe the attitudes, what about the media perhaps, that play a role in setting things up this way? It's just not accident. You know, after myself cycling in and out of prison half a dozen times, I found a place in Santa Monica. And that opened up a wealth of services, a wealth of resources, a safe place, counseling, therapy, uh, treatment, um, smiles. And I just felt, I'm like, why isn't this in South LA? And how long had it been before you found that? Six prison terms, 20 years. You know, my son, I lost a son, uh, accidentally killed by a police officer. I drank, I used drugs. Had you looked for I help? I went to prison. Had you looked for help in those 20 years? I didn't know what grief was. I didn't know what help was. I just kind of circled, uh, you know, just uh, into a deep, dark place. Why wasn't there some place that I could go to in South LA to get help? But when I found it, yeah, yeah, all that. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> but when I found it, I'm like, what is this? Why isn't it in South LA? It's not by, by mistake or chance. Our folks know what we need. Our elected officials know what, he need, what we need. I advocate strongly for it, you know, uh, uh, today being on the other side. So um, it's not by accident that we have more police than parks and, and, and schools and, and uh, art programs and uh, uh, soccer fields and, and so forth. It's not by mistake. So. Um, that's why we rise. That's why we fight for what we want in our communities. So the Labor Strategy Center, A New Way of Life, uh, All of Us and None, V-Day, that's why we stand, fight, and organize uh, to have a collective voice to make what needs to happen everywhere happen. Um, so that was the impetus mm. for creating A New Way of Life.